Officials of the United Nations and heads of government agencies, including Customs, Immigration and the Nigeria Civil Aviation Authority, are attending this security meeting on counterterrorism in Abuja. The meeting which was held behind closed doors is essentially to upscale the capacity of relevant agencies of government on effective way to manage terrorism threats. This really is in response to, to the threats. Uh, we noticed that criminals and terrorists use uh, of course, the airline industry um, to, to go either to, to, to c combat, um, to, to conduct other uh, crimes related to terrorism. Um, and this is a phenomenon that's been observed uh, not only in Nigeria, but in the African region, in the world. So, of course, in Europe, uh, in North America, everywhere across the globe, this is a phenomenon that, that terrorists have proven to use. Um, and we need to be able to, to, be able to detect these individuals um, using their, their passport information um, there's also the passenger name record data that can be helpful, but it, it really is in response to the threat. We are facing certain security challenges and uh, you need to know, control your borders, you need to know who is coming in and going out of your country. So that's the number one uh, advantage. The United Nations Countering Terrorist Travel Program is an international program that generates biodata of travelers and syndicates same to track terrorists' movements. It's a, a way of controlling uh, the suspects. You know, there is, there is a package we call suspect index. Suspect is a watch list. And uh, through that database, our system is able to uh, synchronize and give us a lot that this is person of interest. Terrorism threats are a growing global concern that experts say requires strong international partnership to overcome.